Welcome to another of Techno Teacher UAE's Mathematics Summary for GSAT and P. This is question 24 out of 150 questions. So, welcome to another of the Mathematics Summary for GSAT and P compared by Techno Teacher JA. This is question 24 out of 150 questions. This question asks, how much greater than 7,208 is 10,351? The choices are A. 17,559 B. 3,159 C. 3,000 Sorry, 3,000 B was 3,157 C. 3,143 and B. 3,000 Once again, the question and choices are How much greater than 7,208 is 10,351? The choices are 17,559 That was A B. 3,157 C 3,143 and D 3,000 Do you know how to calculate a question when it asks how much greater than how much greater than Okay, I will give you about a minute to work out the answer After about a minute my answer will come up and then you will have about another minute to review my answer before I come in again and explain the answer.
Did you come up with the correct answer? Okay, let's review the question once again. It asks, how much greater than 7,208 is 10,351? How much greater than? When a question asks, how much greater than? You subtract. You subtract. Yes. You subtract the smaller number from the bigger number. Or you subtract the smaller number from the larger number. To find out how much greater a number is than another number. So let's subtract. Line them up. Tens on the tens. Ones on the ones. Hundreds on the hundreds. Thousands on the thousands. And if you have ten thousands, you put that on the ten thousands. If you have hundred thousands, you put that on the hundred thousands. If you have a million, you put that on a million. And so on. So let's line it up. We have one zero on the screen. You can see here one zero three five one minus seven two zero eight. You can see that the eight and the one are both on the one column, one's column. Zero and five are both on the tens columns. Two and three are both on the, the hundreds columns. 7 is under the 7 and 0 are under the thousands column and you only have 1 under the 10 thousands column let's subtract now we start at the back whenever you are not subtracting you start at the back ok so 8 8 from 1 or 1 minus 8 1 minus 8 we can't because 8 is larger than 1 so we up over to the column beside it, that is where the 5 is, and subtract so 1 from 5, the other one over to that other one, and that becomes 11. How much is the left after you subtract 1 from 5? Let's subtract 1, let's say 1, let's say 1, and then on our fingers, we count to 5, and check our fingers, right? So let's, so let's say 1, and then on our fingers, count to 5. So 1. 2, 3, 4, 5. That's 4. They have 4 fingers up, so 4 is left. So 1 from 5 is 4. So we need to put the 4 above the 5 there. And we, let's go over back to the 8 and subtract. So 8 from 11 is. Let's say 8 to ourselves and count to 11. Let's say 8 and then count to 11. So 8. 9, 10, 11. That leaves 3. So 3 goes down there. Nothing from 4 is still 4. And nothing from any number is still the same number. So nothing from 4 is still 4. That's only 3 to 0. 2 from 3. Let's say 2 to a 7 from 4 to 3. Let's say 2 and 4 to 3. 2, 3, 1. So that's 1 goes there. And then 7 from 0. We can't. 0 minus 7 we can't. Because 0 is less than 7. So the upper one to the 1 and subtract 1 from it. That leaves nothing. 1 from 1 leaves nothing. So we write a 0 above the 1. So 1 from the one, 1 from 1 leaves nothing. We can write a 0 above the 1. We carry the 1, go over to the 0 beside it. And we have 10 there now. 10. So let's subtract 7 from 10. 10 minus 7. 10 minus 7. Let's say 7 and count to 10 on our fingers. 7, 8, 9, 10. We have 3 fingers up, so we have 3 there. So the and, and then nothing from nothing, nothing from nothing, in the column beside it, lose nothing. So we don't need to write anything there. We don't need to write a 0 in front. So that nothing goes there. So here at the bottom we have 3, 1, 4, 3. So 10,351 minus 7,000. 208 is 3,143. Again, 10,351 minus 7,208 leaves 3,143. That leaves the answer as C. C. So the answer is C. Again, the question and answer is how much greater than 7,208 is 10,351. The answer is 3,143. 3,143. C. C. So I'm going to give you about another minute again to look back at the question and look back at the answer. You can pause the video for longer if you like more time to work out the answer or if you like more time to review my answer.
possibly do it for longer if you'd like. So we check my answer. So I will give you about a minute to look back at the question and the answer and make sure that you understand both the question and the answer. over the telephone or by email or in Facebook chat or Facebook messaging or WhatsApp or WhatsApp receive help over the telephone if you have if you need help you can call me and get help that is GSAT or reading help over the telephone or by email sending me emails we can exchange emails we can chat via Facebook or chat in Facebook, Facebook messaging or WhatsApp. If you if you're a telephone if you are a tele if you have a telephone that uses WhatsApp, we can also use WhatsApp to conduct our classes. Help with tests. If you're doing tests, homework, help with your homework, studying and also computer help for all the persons or anyone who needs help with using the computer. In Word, in Microsoft Word, in Introduction to the Computer, in Microsoft Word, Microsoft Excel, PowerPoint, Access, Microsoft Publisher, and Internet and Emailing, and also Speed Typing. Help with learning where the keys are so you can um, you can type faster. This help is for primary, prep, and high school students, persons who can't use a computer well, persons. Adults and children who need help with reading and spelling, etc. Persons of all ages are welcomed. It's for only $2,000 per month. So it's a very convenient service for only $2,000 per month. Payments should be made island-wide at any branch of the Maker National Building Society. Account number 0011114402. Halfway Tree Branch. Account holder's name Richard Sharp. He mail me proof of payment, or you can send me a photograph in WhatsApp. Take a photograph with your phone of the receipt and send it to me via WhatsApp, and that will be proof that you, I will, that would be proof that you have paid. When you when you have made payment, you should email me to my email address using the email address that you would like me to send emails to when we when we start our classes because I will send you materials to read and so on to do tests from and um, we go we will go over them over the telephone Facebook email etc and I will send I will send you materials so you should send me an email from the email address that you would like me to send the emails to so that, so that I can have the email address right that I will be sending the emails to. Call me at 353-4752 and this is a number that uses WhatsApp. 353-4752 and you can also call me on my landline number for classes. Call me on 648-3855. 648-3855. Six four eight three eight five five. Six four eight three eight five five. This is a digital landline.
This is a digital landline. And you can also email me at Jamaica Island Wide Link at Yahoo.com. Subscribe to my channel to get updates of new videos that are available on YouTube as soon as they become available. So go ahead and click that subscribe button. It's free. Like and subscribe and also you're invited to share my videos. So you, when you when you subscribe when I upload a video for instance, if I if the video you are watching is social studies part two, when I upload social studies part three, you will get a notification on your computer right away that I have uploaded social studies part three, and you can go ahead and see the video. So go ahead, click that subscribe button right now. Thank you for watching. You should watch these GSAT videos over and over again until you know them from memory. Repetition is important. You can always message me if you have any questions or need further help using my email address, my Facebook page or the telephone numbers that are shown on the screen. So bye-bye for now, bye-bye.